Good morning and welcome to our class, Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Region. I am Ma'am Janine Benedicto and I will be your teacher. So welcome to our first session and thank you for watching this video. I hope that everyone is ready because this is your third week having an online class. I believe that you have pen and paper with you so that if in case you would want to take down notes, you will be able to do so. Again, if you have any questions, you can reach me through text message or through a chat in our GC, okay? So again, TBL12, welcome to our first class. Before we start our class, let's have a prayer so that we will be guided all throughout the day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Now, as we start, I have here our objectives for this session. First, we have, we will define what is contemporary art. Next is, we will differentiate contemporary art to modern art. So, ito yung mga objectives natin na kailangan natin imit pagkatapos ng session na to, okay? Next, I have here a question. Most likely, class, this is a basic question for everyone. Kasi, alam ko naman na simulan grade 1, meron na kayong art subject, right? So, for you, class, what is an art? Ano kaya ang art sa pananaw ng isang grade 12 student ng DWSSII? Alam ko na maraming nag-iisip na art is about painting, art, is about performing art is about sculpting diba? so ito yung mga basic art na nakikita natin sa school or sa paligid natin pero marami marami pa ang mga bagay-bagay na maihahalin tulad natin sa tinatawag na art Okay, first is, alamin muna natin yung etymology ng art. Oh. So, we have now the etymology of the word art. Art is from AR or Aryan. It means to put or to join. Next, we under that, we have artisan. It is a Greek word, means to prepare. Another one is archisken means to put then under that we have art or artist from the latin word which is skill and techne from the greek word which means skill as well it means class that art is making or preparing something that you are joining something or you are putting something into one using your skill Okay, so that is the etymology of art. This time, we will define what is an art. An art is a creation. Diba kanina, ang ibig sabihin ng word na art nung hinimay-himay natin ay to put or to join. Ito naman, art is creation. Ibig sabihin, gumawa ka ng isang bagay galing sa iba't ibang bagay. Next, creating something new, something original, and something different. Next, art is life. According to a sculptor, Ramon Orlina, actually he is a, a glass sculptor, art is to give life. Ibig sabihin, yung bagay na ginagawa mo ay bibigyan mo ng buhay. Not literally na gumagalaw ha or may hining. Ibig sabihin class, bibigyan mo ng tamang kulay, tamang hugis, o di kaya 
um, magandang um, panlabas na anyo o di kaya magandang pagkakaguhit ang isang bagay para mag-consider siya na nagkaroon ng buhay. Okay? So, that is an art and that's how you give life in doing art. Next, art produced by the national artist and contemporary to us. This time class, we will chat on the different various forms of arts in the Philippines or we will now um, know why do you think or what do you think is the reason why we have different forms. Okay? Now, hindi need sa kaalaman ninyong lahat na for the past years, ang Pilipinas ay sumailalim sa iba't ibang um, countries. We were conquered by different countries. This time class, aalamin natin yung fo different forms of arts in the Philippines. Aalamin natin kung bakit ba nagkaroon ng iba't ibang forms ang art dito sa Pilipinas. Okay. First class is that, hin alam naman natin lahat na dati or simula dati, nagkaroon ng iba't ibang mga bansa na nag-conquer sa Pilipinas. So, nandoon yung Spain na almost 300 years tayong um, kinonquer. Next, we have the Americans. Next, we have the Japanese. Now, dahil dun class, dahil sa pagkakaroon natin ng iba't ibang mga lahi dito sa Pilipinas, nagkaroon din tayo ng uh, influences from their cultures. Okay? At dahil doon, nagkaroon ng impluensya ang mga kultura nila sa kung ano mang sining meron tayo ngayon. Okay? So, isa yun sa mga reasons, isa yun sa mga rason kung bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng iba't ibang um, paniniwala sa ating mga ginagawang art. Lalo na sa mga art na isinagawa nung time na yon. For example, nung time na Dr. Jose Rizal, nung time nung mga um, Japanese dito sa Pilipinas. So, may mga influences yung cultures nila na naipasa doon sa mga gawa ng mga artist na namumuhay nung time na yun at hanggang sa ngayon. Okay. According to Bre uh, Brene Brown, art has the power to render sorrow make loneliness a shared experience and transform despair into hope okay this time class we will now know why do you think people engage into art okay first art builds social capital next art promotes positive behavior that can increase positive social interactions Next, art provides age-appropriate mediums for emotional expression. Art creates opportunities for communication on a larger scale. Art facilitates understanding and new perspectives. And art allows for knowledge sharing with diverse audiences. Okay, art class is not just a piece of work that rich people can appreciate. Okay? Diba usually kasi sa mga museums, yung mga malaking paintings na mga mahal, akala natin mayaman lang yung pwedeng bumili nun or yung pwedeng maka-appreciate nun. But always remember class that every time you create something, that's an art. Okay? Because that's how you express yourself. Okay? Always remember that if you are creating something that's beautiful, that's unique, that's different, it means that that is an art alright. That is your own artwork. You don't need to be the famous artist, the famous singer, the famous performer for that for for your work to be considered as art. Okay? Kasi class, kapag ibinuhos mo yung puso mo dun sa ginagawa mo, that's an art already. Okay? So, when we say class, art promotes positive social interaction. It means that Dahil dun sa ginawa mo, nagkakaroon ng iba't ibang perspective ang iba't ibang tao at nagkakaroon kayo ng communication. For example, 
Pag gumawa ka ng isang, kunyari, gumawa ka ng isang painting, ano, kasi sa subject niyo nga na art, kailangan ng painting. Kapag nakita ng kaklase mo yung painting mo, maganda man siya, or pangit, magkakaroon talaga kayo ng pag-uusap. Eh, ah, hala, bakit ganitong kulay ang ginamit mo? Ah, kasi gusto ko kasi malamig sa mata. O, bakit ganyan ang kulay na ginamit mo? Ah, kasi gusto ko ganito ang ipapakita ng painting ko. So, you can express yourself at the same time, your classmate or your friends will be able to know more about you. Okay? So, that's an example of an art. That's an example of why art brings social interaction and communication okay next class art art is not just about painting class okay kasi usually pag sinabing art ah pagpipinta yan pag drawing yan pag sketch yan it's not just about those um, forms actually uh, when we say art class it talks about creating something diba yun yung definition kanina so for performing arts we have singing dancing acting that's um yun yung tinatawag natin ng mga play opera musical theater for literature class we have the novel writing we have the poetry writing we, we even have literary events like impromptu speaking speaking speech speaking those those are examples of literary events that can be considered under performing arts. Now, for sculpture class, so nandun yung glass sculpting, yung clay sculpting, or yung wood sculpting. Then, for clay class, we have pottery. Diba? So, sa pottery class, ang daming, ang daming art na um, pwede mong gawin doon. Or sculpting na pwede mong gawin doon. Next, um, one of the best art, or one of the oldest art actually class is tattoo making. Kasi simula dati pa, okay, like sa mga ninuno pa natin dati, they are starting to create an art like tattoos kasi part yun ang tradition nila. Okay? Next, we have functions of arts. So, we will now know what are the functions of arts. Okay? First is aesthetic value. One of the biggest benefits of contemporary art is aesthetic value. This means that the art possesses some capacity to elicit a sense of pleasure in the viewer. When we say aesthetic value class, ibig sabihin, kapag nakikita mo yung art na yun, yung viewer, nagkakaroon sila ng self-satisfaction, nagkakaroon sila ng enjoyment. Okay? So, pag nakikita mong sumasayaw yung isang ballet dancer, ay, ang galing-galing yung sumayaw. Kapag nakikita mo namang, o kapag, hindi kaya pag nakabasa ka ng isang magandang poetry and you appreciate it, and it can change your perspective. That's what you call aesthetic value. Okay? Next class is relaxation and inspiration. Okay? Research has shown that viewing art can be relaxing. This is used for some of the mindfulness exercises that are currently so popular. Art can help to pull people out of their mind of racing and wandering thoughts into the present moment to experience what is in front of them. Okay? This is helpful because it teaches people to do this also to other times, which can reduce symptoms of anxiety and depression. Okay. Um, Art class has been used for many uh, by many um, doctors to be a therapy therapy for people that are experiencing depression or anxiety. Usually, class painting because or drawing because they can express themselves using those forms. Okay? So, kapag nalulungkot yung isang tao um, at gusto niya magpinta, so napipinta siya. Um, kasi doon niya nilalabas kung ano man yung nararamdaman niya. Usually, class painters are, are like that. Okay? Even even artists na nagdo-drawing, ganun, or kahit songwriters, or kahit poet, poets, they, 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 they do that to express what they are feeling. So, that's why class art considered as relaxation and inspiration 
personal expression. Okay? Di ba kanina, sinabi ko na may mga doctors na gumagamit ng art as therapy because paint, through painting, sculpture, and performance art, anyone can express themselves. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung nararamdaman mo, pwede mong ipakita dun sa art na yun. Kadalasan, yung mga taong magagaling sa kanilang larangan, um, dun mo makikita kung gaano nila kagusto yung larangan na yun kasi dun mo makikita yung self-expression nila. Okay? Kunyari, sa pagkanta. Yung kanta ay maganda. Then, yung singer, kinanta niya yung kantang yun. Kapag ang audience ay ramdam na ramdam niya yung ibig sabihin ng kanta, Ibig sabihin, yung singer na yun ay nabigyan niya ng justice yung kanta. Okay? The art deserved to be executed by an artist correctly. Okay? Next, let us define what is contemporary art. Okay, ma'am, ano ba yung contemporary art? Ano bang pinakaiba nila sa regular art? Okay? Contemporary art refers to current and very recent practice. It also refers to works of art made by living artists. Okay. Contemporary art class ay considered as contemporary art kapag yung artist ay buhay pa hanggang ngayon. Okay. Contemporary art can be driven by both theory and ideas and is also characterized by blurring of the distinction between art and other categories of cultural experience such as television, cinema, mass media, entertainment, and digital technology. Okay, so that's the definition of contemporary art. This time, we will talk about contemporary performance. Okay, so contemporary performance class is hybrid work that integrates text, dance, objects, music, costumes, lighting, image, sound, sets, and vocal expressions into complex interactive system. So, when we say contemporary performance class, it talks about dancing, singing, even acting. Okay? So, sa stage, usually, pero, they consider contemporary arts um, as well if you are using mass media like television, um, radio, so on, and so forth. So, these are the characteristics of contemporary arts. Contemporary art mirrors contemporary culture and society, offering teachers, students, and general audiences a rich resource through which to consider current ideas and rethink the familiar. The work of contemporary artists is dynamic, combination of materials, methods, concepts, and subjects that challenges traditional boundaries and defies easy definition. Contemporary art reflects a wide range of materials, media, and technologies as well as opportunities to consider what art is and how it is defined. Artists today explore ideas, concept questions and practices that examine the past, describe the present, and imagine the future. Now, this time, we will define or differentiate what is modern art and contemporary art. Okay, for modern art class, it is up-to-date, technologically advanced, and modern as opposed to tradition and conservative. Okay. While contemporary art class is art produced by artists living today, always in flux, developing and evolving. What is contemporary art today may be traditional or modern in the coming year. So that's their differences class. Contemporary arts in the Philippines. Okay, we will now know um, the characteristics of contemporary arts in the Philippines. First, it is conceptual. Focus is on the idea, which can be either abstract or social. Next, social. Current social or political topics are dealt with often from critical perspective. Next, expressive. Both content and form is meaningful and communicative. Example is the Mabining Mandirigma by 
libretto or by Nicanor G. Kyung Son and music by Joed Balsamo choreographed by Denisa Reyes and set by Tommy Imao Okay, next we have Popular culture. Issue and aspects of popular cult culture are dealt with either by conceptualizing and criticizing. Poetic content is content or form is poetic in nature. Um, one work is Blind Child, 2011 by Ronald Ventura. Then we have sense related total artwork installations which are often interactive and affect different senses so this is now class the historical background of art in the philippines okay so we have different forms we have painting sculpture and architecture for pre-conquest class or this is our prehistoric period um for painting we have body a domain uh, domain or on or ornament so yun yung mga tattoo diba so dati for example um if there's a tribe or yung mga tribes dati, tattoos talaga, tattoo tribes talaga class are very important to them because that's their belief, that's their culture, that's their, kumbaga, um, that's their identity. Okay, next, we have, for sculpture, we have pottery, carving and woodwork, metalwork and expression. For architecture, dwellings and houses, shelters, worship areas, official residences, mosque, masjid, state, edifi um, state edifices. This time class, we will now assess yourself. Okay, so for our stretching activity, Give one sentence to define the following word based on your own idea. So, art or arts, then contemporary art. So, it's just one sentence, class. Okay? Next, read and analyze and react. Correction, answer the following questions in five sentences. Number one is, what is the meaning of contemporary arts? Number two, how will you define art using your own words and ideas? Next, we have in your own insight, what is the importance of knowing the historical background of Philippine arts in our daily life? And for our Beyond the Lesson, I need you to answer the 2 3 1 chart. Three things I've learned, two things I found interesting, and one question you still have. Okay? So these activities, class, are available in your BLMS. You just have to access the quiz part. And you can answer it there through a short answer question, uh, question and answer, okay? So that's it, class. Thank you so much for staying and for watching the video. I really hope that you learned something. If you have any questions, just text me or PM me anytime, okay? I Your modules and your activities are in your BLMS already. Thank you, class, and have a good day.